welcome, welcome. It's an evening time at the Kingdom here, Carlsbad, California. Welcome to the channel. If you've not been here before, hit subscribe, hit notify. Apologies about the shadow, but isn't this the best time of day to be out here practicing our game? Now, I'll be bringing you a lot of off-season tips. Look at the hoop on that. Hoop being, look at the way that spins that tour response. This one's going to be no different. This one's going to be an off-season tip. We're getting into the festive time. I'm all about it. Could well be the last upload of the year. Let's see if I can recreate with that tour response stripe golf ball, which by the way, I have just been loving for this stuff. I've literally got three of them just for this, just for hitting putts on a green like this, finding the straight putt, that's important. That's our next piece of equipment that's essential for me. And I, to be honest with you, if you're struggling with putting, this is absolutely the drill that saved me. This is just the chalk line. You can get it on any hardware website. Get that chalk line down, find the straight putt, walk around the hole, go to this six to sort of 12 feet putt range. Get that line down. Don't go and fill it with green chalk, obviously. I've got blue here. Give you the contrast. Putting's all about the contrast. Then to marry it up again, what you want to do is if you can get three of these tour response stripes and you can get it down on the chalk line and you can set up to it, then you get the line of your putter perfectly down there. Have a look, feel it, and just get it end over end like that, end over end. And you're going to see that with that tour response stripe. You're going to get the instant feedback that you need as a golfer. Now, the next tip here, I came to you a while back. I was testing out the arm lock putter when I launched that video a few weeks ago. I've changed the grip, I've changed the length. I've got a fitting for it. You know I'm all about fitting and I am absolutely loving this thing. Testing it on here has validated the change. Yeah, I'm lucky I'm in California, but you can do all this on a potting mat as well, meaning I've got good weather here, but I've got the right length I want. I've got myself calibrated and I'm just rolling the rock perfectly down there every time, end over end over end. Another thing that helped me, and this is the main reason, this is what I want you to check out. This is potting plates, okay? Comes from a top coach here in San Diego. He sent me this and literally, I swear it's, once you've found your straight putt, it's pretty much saved me. You can do it with a regular putter. You don't have to be arm lock. You can do it with cross-handed. You can do it with any grip you want. Side saddle works, any model you want. You literally put down your putting plates and then you start to put tees in. You need four pegs, okay? Four tees go in. This one is the solid white one. They do make a mirror one, which I would like. If Derek's out there listening, that would be awesome. Then I use this plate that I've got from other stuff. But again, he sells a plate that can go on the inside of the ball. So you get everything looking like that. You find the straight putt, just making sure that's perfect. Get your line down the chalk line. Because again, it's important we all set ourselves up neutral for this, okay? Down the chalk line. The mirror, the reason this one's in here, and this is off another training aid for me, is just to ensure you might have popped it, clocked it when I was hitting pots there. I want my shoulders to be square. Sometimes with this arm lock, here's a little call out. I like the ball quite far forward. The chest goes forward as well. The chest goes open. Like all the time when I stand on that tee over there and I tell you about driver, if the ball positions forward, our chest points at the ball, it gives us pulls. Let's be critical on this. I've got a chalk line down. I'm using a tour response ball. I should be able to hold those putts, no problem. They should be hooping every time. That ring should be going over every time. Instead, I caught the left edge on some of them. Let's be critical now. It's not for anything, it's off season. Left edge on that going in, not good enough. Why does that? Because the shoulders weren't parallel to you, the viewer. So as you get in here now, you can line up your putter with the blue line calibration is everything now i can use this inside mirror that i've got here 
in order to check shoulder alignment. If I had a mirror on the putting plates, I could then check my eye parallax is good. I know it sounds a lot, but it's all in order to get the start line. And that brings you to what these putting plates are all about. Now I made that look absolutely simple. But if I'm off, I've been working on this as well, by the way. That's why this video has come here and been inspired to do this. The ball only just fits through the, the tees, only just goes through. If you don't hit your start line on this, I don't care how good you are at reading greens. Trust me, I found an absolute revelation with this. I thought that I was not a good green reader. That's where I was going. It's nothing to do with it. It's a simple fact that when I first got these putting plates out and I've had them a while, just got them back out and started working with them, I couldn't hit the start line. So you absolutely need to calibrate your game, do it this winter, perfect little gift, and just get rocking and rolling through that. I can't believe that's lipped out because it went through my start line. I'm not too concerned about that. Maybe it broke a little bit, didn't give it enough speed, not a bad putt. But the bottom line is, I want you literally to go through this drill, setting it up, step away from it, come in, find the line, get your shoulders square, get your eyes in a good spot, get that putter against the plate, rock it through. I'm gonna stick the link in the bio to this putting plates. I don't have any discount codes. I don't have any affiliate codes. I don't have anything going on. I literally have been that blown away by this that I had to come here late in the day and film this video to wrap up the season. This is great training. Buy it with the mirror on the inside if you think you wanna work on your shoulder path. Like I say, I've just used a different device for that. Chalk line, I think, is a must. I love Tour Response Stripe with it. I love it. I'm gonna make these a bit tighter because this feels like I'm on it today, I'm dialed. But I've been doing this before rounds. I believe that they make it, I've been looking at the website with um, indoor options as well. Again, if you're controlling the environment, control the lines. There is so much stuff out there on the internet, it's great, but try to use things that are gonna help your practice gonna help you as a player, gonna help you calibrate, gonna help you hit putts so that you can do your putting like this. I don't know how long we've been on this video, five, six, seven minutes. I know I'm dialed. Now I can move away from the chalk line, hit putt, hit putt, go through my drills, and I know that my calibration is on. You don't have to then waste time over and over and over. It's a simple daily check that gets your lines where they need to be, you're off and running. Amazing piece of kit, seriously. I can't thank the guys at Putting Plates enough. For, and it was sent me to me a long time ago. I've sat on this for a long, long time, didn't use it, but it's my number one piece of kit right now is this. This, for sure, and these golf balls. Absolutely clutch, helping me so much. My TaylorMade Plus app, giving me all the feedback I need. This is where I needed to work, and I'm seeing results. So get out there, check it out. I'll bung a bunch of links below. And then all I can say is thanks for the support and thanks for the following. I hope you've enjoyed it. Probably gonna wrap up my season with this video, but I'll be back in January with some more equipment tips on what you should look for and what you should get fit for. But do yourself a favor. These things I've been telling you, like the devil ball, this, any mats, anything else I've brought to you, the golf forever training aid, anything to help you. It's all intended to get you ready for the 2023 season. Make some good decisions. Like I said, there's a lot of information out there. But you've got to decide what's right for your game. And that's why I think that things like this, that give you feedback like this, that's proper, can't argue with it. And if you are struggling with a flat stick like I was, get fit for one of these things because it's going to help you. But thanks again, everyone who's followed, all the comments, all the feedback. I've loved it. I've had a good time this year on YouTube. I look forward to bringing more to you in 2023. Have a good holiday season. And I hope you get everything you want for and you enjoy time with your families. Until 23, I'll be back.